Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of my Splatoon 2 online let's play. Today I thought we'd use the Zinc Mini Splat thing again because I've been using it quite a lot and I like it. So I decided to use it. Someone is up there. I'm also finding that having just three mains of run speed up works quite well with this weapon so that's what I'm currently using. I don't have any gear that's got subs of run speed like fully on it so I'm not using anything like that because I don't really work towards gear that much because I don't think you generally need subs of the same thing that much because it doesn't make too much difference and I don't think it's worth putting the amount of time in it takes to get that gear just for a little bit of difference so I generally just leave it. I do have some where I have one sub of the same thing but generally don't go for any more than that because one sub is fairly cheap you only need 10 ability chunks but 20 or 30 is just ridiculous it takes ages to get that and the only time I generally get ability chunks is splat fests because I use the splat fest gear because the share it lets you Scrub the slots for a lot cheaper, it's 2000 instead of the normal 20,000 or whatever it is. I think it's 20 normal. Right, I don't know how that person took so long to die. Probably because I had no win, so wasn't shooting them. Right, we've got an assist on that guy. That guy is not paying attention at all. That was a really easy kill. Well, I don't think I got the kill, but whoever got the kill, it was easy because they just weren't looking at all. Look at that little spot there. Looks like we're winning the game by quite a lot at the moment, which is nice. But there is an orange person down there. Got them. Should be able to get this whole area fairly quickly. This weapon's pretty good for coverage. I'll throw that up there. It's pretty much the only area we don't have covered. So that is pretty obvious we're winning. And I've got two people. One of them must have got caught in my ink storm and not been able to escape or just not bothered to try escape and got killed because of it. I don't know which. But we did pretty well that game. Here we are just about to start the second game of the episode. We're on Mako Mart this time. The other map was Snap Canal I think. Um, hopefully we can win again. Don't know if we will or not though. We've got three splooshes on our team which isn't brilliant. As that means we don't really have... Well we... Not really, just we don't have much variety. I have more range than them, obviously, but not that much more. And they're all short range weapons. We might be able to get this person. Nope. Unless that gets me, but I doubt it. We've got four Kerling Bomb weapons on this team, I just realised. Because they all have Kerling Bombs, and so do I. I don't know where I am. I might not be able to get me. Can I get that person? Not a clue what they're doing. They were looking upwards, which pretty much never going to get killed doing that because it's rare that people are directly above you. Oop, I'm dead. Didn't get a chance to charge up my thing in time. Well, I might have done, I was just spamming the button instead of holding it down because. I knew I was probably about to die. Right, looks like someone just died over there. And I'm probably going to, yep. Don't seem to be brilliant at killing the Dapple Julies when I'm using this. For whatever reason. Right, let's get over here. Hype my. Nope, someone else got the kill. 
might be able to get these. No, it doesn't the way. There is a lot of people around here, which isn't good. Ooh, person. Got them. Only just there. And got them as well. Let's do that, get my ink back up, and then cover that area a bit. Oop, they came out of nowhere. Don't know what they were doing, because they literally just appeared out of nowhere. Which is strange. Right, let's get some more of this area. Doing pretty good on coverage, not amazing though. Someone else got the kill there. I think they just got a triple kill on our team there, which isn't good, especially at this point in the game. Just run through that, it doesn't really matter because it's the end of the game. And I don't think we've won that one, but we'll see. No, it looks like we have won that one, never mind. Here we are in our third game. We're on Stedge and Shipyard because the map's rotated. The other ones, Shell and Dorf Institute. Hopefully, we can get both during this episode. We've obviously already got one. And it'll just be a case of seeing if we get the other one in any of our other games. We will have a few more, so we've got a decent chance. This weapon's good on coverage, so I should be able to get this spawn area fairly quickly. Which, to be honest, I probably shouldn't be doing, because it's going to give them a chance to get me but it doesn't matter too much on Tier 4. It's only the other game modes that you want in the middle. Can I get them? Nope. There's a big level difference in this game as well. There's a 95, and then just a level 5, so... Hopefully we've got the 95, not the 5. Don't know I, though, because I didn't look at anyone's names in the lobby. Just levels. Don't think they were expecting me to come from there. Or maybe they ran out of ink. Oop, person over there. Got no, I haven't got them. Now I have. And then, ooh, that Kellen bomb randomly appeared and got me. I'm doing a lot better with this weapon though, in general, than I thought I would, because I'm generally not brilliant at sparkling type weapons, but I seem to be fairly good with the mini. Um, I don't remember being that good when I tried out the normal mini splatter though, but. In both the episode before last, so 74, and then this episode, I've been doing, I'd say, fairly well with it. And I feel good with using it, not. Like, it doesn't feel like a bad weapon, and like I'm doing bad, so I don't know. So they're gonna get me. No, someone else killed me, actually. Either way, I died, which isn't amazing. Looks like we're winning though which is good because pretty much the whole map is blue except their spawn which means we have a good chance of winning this game. I don't know why they use their special right there. Pretty bad idea I would say because they were right in the open and it made it very easy to kill them. Right, it's almost the end of the game and we're covering their spawn area, so that's definitely a good sign that we've won. And I'd say the chances of us not winning now are very slim. Right, let's just get the Kern bomb and a tiny bit of turf as well. Now, yep, we definitely won that one. Here we are in our fourth game on our fourth map of the episode, which is good. We've got a nice rotation of maps. Because obviously you don't usually get four, four different maps in one episode. Got them. Don't think they were expecting that. Don't know if anyone followed that curling ball. 
doesn't look like it. Whoever has the cannon bombs is throwing a lot of them though. Disposed wherever they are, up there in the back. Seem to be doing pretty well so far. Oop, person right there. Got them, but they also got me. And I would have probably died anyway from that spruce that came through. But they're dead now, so it doesn't matter. And their team is missing a player. So, it's unlikely that we'll lose. Which is nice. It's not the best way to win. By just purely having a, an advantage over them. Got one hit on them, don't know if I'll be able to get any more. Doesn't look like I will be able to. Oop, person is right there. Let's run away. I was gonna throw a pen at one, but one didn't have enough ink and two, it would have probably not helped. Right, I'm gonna go up there. Never mind. Here. Probably gonna get attacked from behind. Yep, hit someone. Killed them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Might be able to get them. No, I think they ran away. Oops, someone got me. jump all the way over here, it'll just be quicker and they don't seem to be being attacked. Could have actually died there from the super jump. But looks like we're fine so it doesn't matter. Wow, I might die here then. From the rover. Yep, thought so. Got this black bellow anyway though and I can easily go get that covered. say easily, there's actually barely any time left of the game. That should get a decent portion of it gone though. Ooh, can I get a... Yes, I can get a Kaling Bomb. Just in time to get a bit more coverage. Here we are on at Sturgeon Shipyard again. Hopefully we can win. I think we won the last one. I can't actually remember. But I'm pretty sure that we've won all the all the games in this episode so far, which is good. I don't think I've done that before. And now I've said that I'm probably going to end up losing either this or one of the last ones. I don't know if this will be the second to last or the third to last. But either way, hopefully we can win. Because winning is what you want to do all the time. This is probably going to be my death. Yep, yeah, I thought so. Got a little bit of coverage in that area though that's still not being covered back up somehow. You know, it's literally right in front of their spawn. Right, that auto bomb is after someone else, so that's fine. I managed to escape them. Never mind. They followed me. Don't know why. Why you want to kill someone that's going towards your base, don't you? I think I should be out without rain now. Right, they're down there, it seems. I was going to say, I swear they just threw a rain, but there's two cabins, so that makes sense. Never mind. Every time I try escape, I end up getting essentially PV1 or even more. Right, it looks like someone's been up here, which isn't good. I think one, not not the carbons, but one of the splatter shots on their team. 
must have come through. Because it wasn't a roller. I reckon it's probably whoever that is. Definitely lost this game, which is a shame. I can't move very well. Do throw that can one and a bit of ink. Think we lost that one. Yep, definitely. Barely any pink on there. Here we are for our final game of the episode. One at Shellendorf for the last one. Now it's just a coincidence that we lost right after I was on about how we've been winning. And it's an unfortunate coincidence like that. Right, let's see if that can get. No, it can't. I know one of the people using Julie's is level 5. I think it might be this one. Yeah, it is. That's the level 5 player. And then... No idea what the other one... Which level is. Wait. Let's see if we can get some more coverage. Because we're not necessarily winning at the moment. We might die here. Don't seem to be able to kill them for whatever reason. Even though in the middle of that they changed their focus to on the ink rail, whatever you call it, thing. Not doing brilliant so far in this last game, which is unfortunate. Where have they gone? There we go, got them. Which is good. Right, this is a lot of purple. Now let's get rid of as much of that as we can. Should be able to get them or not. We're missing a player, we're probably going to lose. Which is unfortunate. Don't think we're going to win. This area seems to be the most purple out everywhere. Seems like they've gone out of Got them. as well. Not doing amazing on coverage so far this game. I was going to try and get a bit more ink for a care of one, but that didn't go to plan. Yep, we've almost 100% lost this game. Get a tiny bit more, and I think that's Sadly going to be a lost when this episode. Don't know though, we'll have to wait and see. And yeah, it was a loss. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.